All right, dude. Let's see her. First look. First look, ready? It's right yeah. behind this door. She's home. Better it don't matter. You got Menskers on it. Dude, dude look at that. Shoo. Shoo. Long anticipated suspension upgrades are finally done. Do that again. Do that again. <laughs> that is really stiff. Now talk about an absolute game changer. Diesel on this thing about 40 miles ago, and I still have 768 miles until empty. This truck has a 48 gallon fuel capacity. 
That is so awesome. I'm used to filling up at least once a week. All right, dude. Let's see her. First look. First look, ready? It's right yeah. behind this door. Ooh! Dang. That thing is yeah. so cool. Hey, Chris. This is Caroline's clothing brand Motive that she's getting together right now. So we threw that on there. And then here's her logo right here. That thing looks good. Damn. What do you think? She looks spicy. Spicy. Do you like your logo on it? So cool. Yeah. It's two days early. Come on. Gotta be early with it. <laughs> Everyone's gonna have good looking cars this year. Thanks to Project Prime here in Sarasota, Florida. Wow. If you guys need a wrap, this is the guy to call right here. Chris and Ethan. And oh, yeah. Ethan. These two guys will get you right. I told the boys at Mentor, I was trying to get these things here this week. They made it happen. Some big boy boxes right here, boy. The best of the best. For us, the single adjustable strange. Who knows how many passes or launches those have had. But hey, they're for sale. If anybody wants them, you hit me up. <laughs> they, they work. And they work. Good starter shock. They've already been eight seconds. More than once. More than once. Well, the car, look at this packaging. It's kind of nice. High performance struts. Look at that. Ooh. Into the fronts, in all four corners. Oh yeah, Man. fancy, Ugh. fancy. All the adjustability now. Right, look at this. Not right there. Oh, single adjustable for the fronts. I thought you didn't get double. Up here's your second. Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah. You have these little knobs that go on it. This is probably that's the spring. That's probably the yeah, your front. springs. You got all your collar pieces, everything. Top these. pass, everything you need. Right here, this. This is the one I'm excited for, the rears. Hey, look at that. For Jilly, handle with care. For Jilly. For Jilly, keep it really. Dude, look at that. Shoo! Shoo! You got your one knob and your second knob is this one. Ah, I see. Faster, slower, plus and minus. No, it actually depends. Compression and rebound. Depends on the uh, track surface. And on their website, it actually shows you where to put it exactly. In that paper, you got the piece of paper. It's got a printer right on it. it tells yeah. you where to start, where to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, uh, nine, ten. 97 oh, away. <laughs> <laughs> How many passes we got to do before we get this thing figured out? Uh, hopefully just four. Just four? Yeah, you see. Start where it's at. Start. You start where it says on that piece of paper on that you package. Over and go, it, go and then from you there. Back, yeah, you go two you over, two under. Boom. And you're about three there. Four passes in. Tight. Looks like I've got some work to do for sick week. You got to a good bit of work. Oh yeah, and check this out. Garrett doesn't know this is missing, <laughs> but he doesn't watch my videos, so he'll never know it's missing. <laughs> <laughs> Swam. Gear bender. Now James told me it's gonna bolt right up from where my power glide was. Right in there. But I just need to get the drive shaft pre-measured up because this yeah. is uh, you said it's a turbo. Good thing about it is they can always narrow a drive shaft. They can't make it long. Carbon? I wonder if there's anyone here local that can narrow a yes. carbon drive shaft. Oh, you have a carbon drive shaft? We have the one oh. on a bullet. You're go oh, you get that with this? I mean he doesn't know. You can't narrow a carbon shaft, but your steel shaft you have you can narrow. I mean, that's pretty easy to do. Yeah, it'd be a day or two at PST. Yeah, change out the yoke, which they can do. That's yeah, just a narrow. change out the yoke on the ball joint and just shorten Dude, it up. We could have a uh, tie narrow it, right? Balancing it, though. <laughs> I mean, he could narrow it. We'll put it on Sam's lathe and we'll just kind of add lay weight it until it stops wobbling. <laughs> <laughs> Chalk that thing up there and it's like, whoa, 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 like a wet we'll spaghetti use, uh, noodle. We'll use the weights that they use on the balancer for real tires. We'll use those little just start gluing them to it. it. Take some aluminum tape, some ducting tape, tape over them. Is that allowed? Yeah. They're not gonna look underneath it. Nobody's gonna look at it. <laughs> yeah. dude. You really don't think I need another mount? This thing's kind of heavy. It didn't have a second mount in mullet. It just had a second, um, what's it called? Just a, like a two drive shaft loop deal. Okay. Two drive shaft loop deal? Yeah. Two, two, two drive shaft loops, one up here and then yeah, one. Yeah, it had back. one one underneath the gear vendor, like just a brace. It wasn't, it was only, it was only there to be able to take out to get this out. It wasn't around or mounting to that. It only had one mount back there. 
I... And then it's a simple hookup too. Wire deal. You give it power and it engages. That's it. Are you, there's not a computer mount hole that goes with it. There is one that like helps. It's got like RPM deal or time or like speed. If you want to set it up based on yeah. real speed or RPM or really yeah, tune. that's just a solenoid. Otherwise, it's just... just an on-off solenoid. Mm -hmm. But it's easy to wire. We could just do it on a switch. Like. Yeah, like Tom Bailey's got me. Just turn them on like in his car. So, so you just, just drive down the road. Just so driving on the road. You go tink, and mm -hmm. then you're cruising. Money. Cruising. Cruising. Get right, froggy. Well, lock it up. Going down the track. Load it up. <laughs> hey. Damn, it's a beautiful day. What are we doing today? Look at this beautiful day out here today. Woo! Taking the doors off and the gear vendor on. That's right. It's going to be a productive day today. You know, sitting in this car with these Lexan windows, it's almost like being in jail. <laughs> this, yes, that, it's terrible. That, that is not you. That I mean, it's, you it's, get yourself hurt in there. If you're going in there to get to flopping around, look at this. Right. No, no, no. Well, another safety issue is, you know, if, let's say you get in a rollover, right? And this thing flops around and you're trying to get out of the car. Not a healthy situation. No, right. You got all this right here, pulling your arms along. No. This, this is a right. spilled milk or dipping dots from Reese Week in Texas at a Bucky's gas station. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about Bucky's the other day. Yeah, Here's a little right. taste of Bucky's right here. Oh, my. <laughs> <What in> a... <laughs> Looks like a child threw up out of the window. <laughs> so we're going to get these doors off. The other one's already painted, right? Yeah, painted. He's They're painted. Yep, and they have windows in them and regulators and everything. So all I have to do is wire it to some relays and, yeah, some other wiring to button up as well. I figured out how to get the bump right, so I got to get the bump wired correctly. I also need to wire the gear vendor because we are putting a gear vendor in the car and we're going to start testing it this week. So yep, yep. we need to get it in there and get it measured for the drive shaft and get a drive shaft or the yokes and everything over to a drive shaft shop so we can get one ready and then the car's done, ready to test. And this thing is ready for test and then ready for the... The big week. The big week coming up. What is big it, only time. two weeks away, three weeks away now? Uh, well, it's going to be this starting out the 7th, leaving over here the 7th on it, and that's yep. coming quickly, the day being the 15th, so right. we got just a little bit of time. All right. Much, it'll go quick. Well, let's get to it. We have all day Saturday today to work on it. It's a beautiful day, and we couldn't be happier than to be working with each other on this thing, right? Precisely. That's what it's all, that is what it's all about. That's why we do what we do. Agreed. Agreed. So one more time. Windows or doors going in, gear vendors going in, button up wiring. We're ready to test this week. Yes. That's All right. right. All right. So to install this gear vendor, Sam and I, we took off the tail housing off of the power glide and it basically bolts right up. Now James says we can bolt it straight to the existing cross member for the transmission, but that means we need to remove the drive shaft loop that I put in. Luckily my welds, not looking so great. No. We're gonna need to be angle grinded off. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna grind this drive shaft loop off, fit the gear vendor in and see how it fits within this area because I'm a little bit skeptical, skeptical on space, but we don't know until we try. So that's what we're gonna do. Now talk about an absolute game changer for this car. Gonna be cruising at such a smoother RPM on the road. I mean, I'm just so excited about this. If you remember on race week, I mean, I was cruising at what, like high 2000s, low 3000 RPM, and this gear vendor is gonna get us just sitting absolutely beautiful, running cooler temps, lower RPM on the road. It'd be a much healthier car. Well, would you just look at that? The long anticipated suspension upgrades are finally done on Dr. Pepper. Got the Menser double adjustable coilovers on the rear. Before we had these strange single shocks with coils sitting on the lower control arm. Now we have lower control arm relocating brackets, brought it down about two and a half inches, and also got new lower control arms because the lower control arms from Strange did not fit the bolt size for these lower control arm relocator brackets, and they had this spring rest, so eliminated that, got it set. Now it is time for an alignment, and I'm gonna use my buddy Ryan Thorpe. You guys may have seen him around, but he takes wheels, tires, and alignments extremely seriously and is the right guy to do the job. So I need to get the car over to him after I measure some other things up and get the front coilovers on. Look at these incredible lights Sam's got going on in here. He and I just installed the new coilovers on the front. Bolts on down here, goes into the existing stuff on the tower. And now we're going to check ride height in the front. I know it's going to be sitting too low right off the hit, 
but we're gonna try it out and see where she sits because the main thing is we need to make sure that oil pan does not click clack on anything going down the road. Okay. Yeah. Now recording. How's it look? Well, that don't look bad, I don't know. I mean, it's close to the same. It's as, a lot lower than it same, used to It's a lot sit. lower, but it's close to the same as the rear. Because if you come around here to the rear, yeah. well, it's a little bit lower. Uh, rear's a little lower, but if you come back to the front. Do that again. Do that again. <laughs> that is really stiff. <laughs> that is really stiff. <laughs> that is steady. I mean, like, boom, right there. Yeah. But that's a good, that's a good hot save between your What about that oil pan? Do you think we're a little too low there or no? Well, your transmission pan is a quarter of an inch lower than the oil pan, but your rack and pinion, it will be the thing that hits first. That is true. Yeah, it will. It will be the thing that hit first. And then, uh, but if you look. I think we need to adjust it once it's two fingers. Yeah. It's going to be about the same. We really won't know until we get the new wheels and tires yeah, on it. It's going to be close. It's sitting pretty close to level right now. Or, and I'll say level as far as the height of it over the tires. Yeah. Huh. So how we do this is we rotate this clockwise. That compresses the screen, the spring more, actually lifting the car up higher, giving us more ride height. Mm -hmm. We can also adjust the compression and the uh what's it called compressions down here and the what's on top uh, drawing a blank all right guys this is billy and he just bought my 12 valve hate to see it go man glad to have it he's gonna take good care of it he's uh he's a car guy like we all are and he lives down here in florida he actually reached out to me through my office he didn't even see my ad that it was listed I was just wondering hey is it for sale and so i said yeah and I'm really glad it's you because I didn't want to send the car off to somebody random. I wanted to be somebody I knew, and we actually went to college together and find out. Yeah. Both went to University of Tampa, graduated in 2013, but hey, it's going to good hands, so that's all we can ask for. There she goes. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. That's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only 39 bucks. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush at every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.